Sports time now, and we head over to the sports studio and say good evening to Damien Best. Well, Damien, another year and the same BSAC result in the Esther Maynard zone. Uh, they've got the winners. They've got the proof to show Ooh. it, Shade. Very good evening to you. Good evening to our viewers out there. Christchurch Foundation and Harrison College still run things in the sole Esther Maynard zone of the Power Aid Barbados Secondary Schools Athletics Championships known as BSAC. The two defending champs retained their titles easily by the end of the second and final day today. Foundation won the girls with 483 and a half points from Harrison College, 336, and the Allian School with 305 and a half points. In the boys' college, we're out front with 425 and a half, Foundation second, 340, and Allian third, 279.50. Now, 11 records were broken. CBC Sean Green, he was there for some of the 100 meter events, as well as the junior 1500 meters, where Finn uh, Armstrong of Harrison College broke the record. 19 on the line for the start of this, the Open Girls 1500 meters, one of the early events of the day. Four laps around the track, minus 100 meters. Not a race for the Swift, but it's all about endurance. And after roughly five minutes, the Nisha Ford of Christchurch Foundation would get home first comfortably. Behind her was Jaquila Waterman of a Parkinson Memorial, completing the run one and two. Now to the boys' event, the meet record was established by Kelly Hope of the Allen School just last year in 4 minutes 56.1 seconds, and that was under threat in this event. Finn Armstrong of Harrison College taken to the front early, inviting the field to bring the running to him, taking down the pair of uh, Christian Chandler and Kamari Johnson, both of Courage and Parry. And uh, just like that, he was all alone as he came home in a new meet record time of 4 minutes 43.3 seconds. Now to the Swifter 100 meters, first of three in the under 13 boys class. Focused on lane number six, Jordan Adams of college working hard. Here comes Nathan Walks in lane number eight to challenge. He's from Darrell Jordan, but Adams will cross the line first in this event. Section two of the under 13 boys, lanes four and six, the ones to watch. That's Jamari Boyce of Courage and Parry and Lester Vaughn's Amir Gaskin. Gaskin, though, would reel him in and take command, winning in 13.75 seconds. Next heat, and we're ready to go. Ethan Gill of Harrison College had this one all sewn up from the gun. He's in lane number one, powering away from the pack. But hold on, looks like Kyrie Graves of Princess Margaret storming down the track in lane number seven. Graves takes it on the line in 12.8 seconds. Now to the under 13 girls, first of a three. Hard to call in the early exchanges, but Ranisha Rice Noel from Dighton Griffith took over the reins and beat Charbin on the line. Her time, 13.84 seconds. Second race, and this again wasn't one of the fastest, but Kozara Bayer of Foundation took over from early, and no one else would really challenge with Rosaria Jordan of CP closing in for a second place finish. A smaller field in this heat, the third of three in the under 13 girls, 100 meters. Anaya Nurse had the right medicine for this field, showing them the back of her shirt. And she did that from start to finish, winning in the flash time of 13.14 seconds, the fastest qualifier in this event for the day. To the bigger boys, the under 15s, and just look at Jaden Green go. He's the one in the yellow of foundation, and Quinn Blackman next door, but coming down the track in lane number eight, Rashawn Batson, Rashawn Batson, Batson, beats him at the line, his time 12.3 seconds. And we've got the start of the third race in the under 15 boys installment. Renaco Brown of Aline in lane number one, settled early, but Jumar Corlett would reel him in, chasing him down to the line, and that one was really too close to call. Look at that finish. But in the slow-mo replay, we can see that Brown looks as though he got his torso across the line first in 12.25 seconds. Next up, the girls under 15, 100 meter dash race one. Sierra Pig out of CP in lane number four. Had this one done and dusting from the firing of the gun. She was out front in a flash with her topping speed. She was hard to catch. Alika Ye with a foundation. And Davia Short of Aline finished second and third behind Pigot, running 12.72 seconds. This is the final in the under 15 girls, probably the slowest of the heats. But don't tell that to young Davina Gaskin of Lester Vaughan. She's running in lane five in the green and white. And Ken Harrison Call is getting there. No, Gaskin holds her off to win in 13.85 seconds. Sean Green, CBC Sports. Thanks, Sean. Well, the Frank Blackman zone gets underway tomorrow at the same venue, of course, the National Stadium. Some cricket news. West Indies legends went down by six wickets to South Africa legends this afternoon. 
in the Road Safety World Series match in Mumbai, India. Sent into bat, the Wendy's Legends posted 143 for 8 off their 20 overs. Darren Ganga led with 31. A Ricardo Powell got 30. And there was an unbeaten 23 from Carl Hooper. Paul Harris, he took 3 for 21. In reply, South Africa Legends reached the target on 146 for 4 off 18.3 overs. Albie Morkel led with an unbeaten 54. And with him at the other end was Captain Jaunty Rhodes on 53. Not out. Tino Best took 2 for 12 as the Windies Legends fell to their second defeat. The Windies Legends will take on the Australia Legends on March 16th. We head back over to the sports studio and welcome back, Damien. What have you got first in the second half? I'm going to start with some basketball. There were wins for Burger King, Clapham Bulls and KFC Orange Three Pylons when the Cooperators General Insurance BABA Premier League continued at the Wildey Gymnasium last night. Bulls defeated Barbados Hilton Resort Warriors by 25 points, winning 78-53. Meantime, Pinelands had a much closer four-point win over City United Celtics, 72-68. This was the Pines' second victory in three days after picking up a win against Combine School's Tridents on Sunday night. Now here's a look at that matchup, plus Station Hill Cavaliers' victory over Barbados Lumber Company, LSC. This matchup featuring Combined Schools Tridents in Orange versus Pinelands. Kyron Alexander utilizing the screen in the lane. Teardrop two, finished with 12 points. By contrast, Ramon Simmons had free reign on this play. Snuck into the corner, uncontested three. Joint high score for Pinelands with 20 points. Brandon Ruck led all scores with 30. Navigated through the D. Hollywood fake and count it. Captain Simeon Maynard registered 16 points and was among four players in double figures. Jumper, friendly roll, Tridents 48, Pinelands 54 at halftime. In the third we go, Simmons again, stealth in the corner, rattles it in, at the fall as well, three-point play. Derrini Hurley draws two now, the skipper, Junior Moore lays it in, two of his 20 points. Justin Bramo hoping to close the gap. Pylons up by 15 with five minutes left. Drills his second three of the matchup. Jeremy Gill, well, he chipped in with 13 as Pylons go on to close out the contest, easing to a 103 to 94 victory against the Tridents. Second fixture, Station Hill Cavaliers in green and white battling Lakers Sports Club. LSC with possession, Keith Burkett. Pull up baseline jumper, 42% from the field, 16 points in the bank. Mark Bridgman registered 12, mini euro step, left hand delivery is smooth. Fast break on here and the Cavs, three on two, Jason Smith with the offensive board. Cavs actually led 40 to 31 at the break. Smith in transition, buries the triple. Switch of ends for the second half now. Keith Burkett finds his sweet spot, count it. But the Cavs improved tremendously in the second half. Said Norville at the end of this fast break, off the window and in. Darren Hunt getting the job done as well, finds himself under the cup. Cavs running away with this one. Movement off the ball, four stars, Norville, jumper, automatic at this point. Station Hill Cavaliers going on to win. 82 to 70 against the Lakers. Well, Queen's College are the champs of the Barbados Secondary Schools Under 16 Football League. QC Crush Christchurch Foundation in the final at the Usain Bolt Sports Complex recently, putting eight unanswered goals past their opponents. In the third place playoff, St. Francis got the better of St. Leonard's. Secondary Schools Under 16, third place playoff featuring St. Francis in black and St. Leonard's. Kyle Corbin cross from the right and the goalkeeper completely misjudges it. That's 1-0. St. Francis added another before the half. This attempted through ball perplexes both the defender and the keeper. Michael Walker says, leave it to me. Side foot and well, that's number two in the onion bag. Second half business now. St. Leonard's finally found their way into the 18-yard box. Joshua Clark weaving some magic and then slides this one under the custodian to put his team on the board. It's now 
But two minutes later, Corbin chips this one into the danger area. Once again, the goalkeeper guilty of indecision. Walker says, thank you so much. Worthy of a celebration. St. Anders pull one back via penalty in the 70th minute. But St. Francis seal third place with the 3-2 victory. On to the finals now. Queen's College in white destroyed Christchurch Foundation as early as the first minute. Ethan Squires, Topo, his first but more to come. Several questions asked about this foundation defense. Khalil Vanderpool nurse, a bit of the salsa and cha-cha-cha. Then the stamp of approval. 2-0 then. That CCFS backline caught too high up the field. Vanderpool nurse leading the charge. Puts it on a platter for Squires. Sumptuous finish. Three zip. Second half, let's switch ends. Long ball, Vanderpool nurse. Has two bites at the cherry. Doesn't need another invitation. That's goal number two for him. I'll tell you what, two minutes later, Squires completed his hat trick, aided by the slow reflexes of the keeper, who knew he could have done better. Listen to this, 5-0. Dominic Small, Justin Griffith, and Jordan Bryan completed the route as Queen's College, Blank Christchurch Foundation, eight goals to nil to be the Barbados Secondary School's under-16 league champions.